Titanosaurs were the dominant group of herbivores in Cretaceous Argentina. One of the largest and most famous was Argentinosaurus. No predator could take down this giant, right? Wrong, because large herbivores were only taken down by large carnivores. And this hunter was not only big and deadly, but could have also been a pack hunter. I'm talking about Mapusaurus. Mapusaurus rosei was 10.2 to 12.6 meters or 33.5 to 41 feet long, potentially even longer. This carnivore is a member of the Carcharodontosauridae family. Its name, Mapusaurus, means earth lizard. It was a member of the Giganotosaurini subgroup, which dominated the Cretaceous period of Patagonia between stages of the Lower and Late Cretaceous period. Described in 2006 by the renowned paleontologists Rodolfo Coria and Phil Curry, Mapusaurus was one of the most powerful predators ever to roam South America. Coming in with an average weight of over 5 metric tons and a staggering 7.5 metric tons at its maximum estimate, Mapusaurus was a massive predator and was one of the biggest Carcharodontosaurids and apex predators of its time. With his size, Mapusaurus was also similarly dangerous than Giganotosaurus, and might even be the direct ancestor to the more famous Giga, that were adapted to breaking bones. Mapusaurus, on the other hand, had flat curved teeth to cut through flesh. A T-Rex would never have been able to bite through the bones of a massive sauropod, because they were simply too large. Conversely, Mapusaurus could hunt large prey more effectively because its teeth let it cut through flesh easily. Mapusaurus's skull was around 1.5 meters or 5 feet long. Its teeth were ideal for cutting through flesh, being shark-like and razor sharp. One bite of a Mapusaurus would leave a gaping wound on its prey. In addition, saurus were identified in a bone bed. These Mapusaurus ranged in length from 5 to over 12 meters or 16 to over 39 feet and were of juvenile and adult age. There is of course need an environment with an abundance of meat. Then look no further than Patagonia in the Huincul formation of the Cenomanian stage in the Cretaceous. These lands were once the home of the giant Argentinosaurus huincolensis. This titanosaur is the largest officially described dinosaur to this date, with estimates between 30 and 35 meters or 98 to 115 feet in length and a weight of around 75 metric tons, an average height of 6 meters or 20 feet. This sauropod was a colossus among giants. Like other sauropods, it lived in herds. The only way to hunt this giant from the eyes of Mapusaurus would be to edge on it over time. Mapusaurus might also have used the flesh grazing strategy, chunking out big pieces of its victim's flesh just to still hunger and not needing to kill the animal itself. Even if a group of Mapusaurus were to attack an Argentinosaurus, they still would have to watch out not to be buried underneath its body, as the Argentinosaurus was about 10 times as heavy. The habitat of the Mapusaurus, northern Patagonia, was a harsh and hot environment at the time and therefore not easy terrain. The only cooling was probably seasonal streams and creeks, because of this taking down large prey would make even more sense since it was already tiring to hunt under such conditions and because one could feed for quite a while on a large carcass. In addition to Argentinosaurus, there were other smaller sauropods such as Choconsaurus and various hadrosaurs. Theropods that lived alongside Mapusaurus were the Abelisaurid Scorpiovenator and possibly the apex predator Meraxes. However, it is not yet certain whether this fellow family member of the Giganotosaurini lived alongside Mapusaurus. Many paleontologists believe that Meraxes did not coexist with Mapusaurus as they think it was found in older rock. Thus, Mapusaurus was the undisputed top predator of its time. The flora of this habitat was rich in hornwort, buttercups, ferns, conifers and flowering plants. The richer fauna, on the other hand, was more likely to be found near seasonal streams and in the water. Amphibians, fish, turtles, reptiles, sphenodontians and crocodiles have already been found in this formation. But the top of the food chain in this country was Mapusaurus. Mapusaurus has also earned a little more respect, as it was the main predator of the Walking with Dinosaurs special from the episode Land of Giants. Some still believe that this predator was the Giganotosaurus. 
However, Nigel Marvin admitted that it was Mapusaurus and not Giganotosaurus that was meant. Therefore, that's it for the profile of Mapusaurus. The video material used is of course as always from various sources including Julian Johnson Mortimer and prehistoric productions. If you enjoyed it, like and subscribe to Megaraptor for more content about dinosaurs and prehistoric times. Otherwise, feel free to activate the bell to not miss out on any further videos. Have a wonderful day or evening. Goodbye.